you feel like that kind of gets you back in the groove. You know, it's like we pull a couple and it's like, oh crap. And then we go right to breaking ball and that just exudes your, your just confidence in that pitch. You feel that way? Huh. Just want to have something that we can go to, you know what I mean? When you just see, I see a little pull and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go right to breaker for him. Get you kind of back down the hill, get you back in that rhythm and then be able to kind of expand off that pitch. Okay. That's more yes sirs I've ever heard in the West Coast. I know, it makes me uncomfortable. And B, sometimes I feel like they're not paying attention. Like they're just saying it just to make me to shut up. It's like, if I say yes sir, he'll just shut up. Michael's not doing that, but I feel like other people do. Yes sir. A little bit off. <laughs> well played. You gotta fight through it! This season, the LSU pitching staff is led by coach Jason Kelly. As a former national assistant coach of the year, coach Kelly is preparing the staff for the 2022 season. Yeah, I've been excited about a lot of things they've done, but, but the one thing that really sticks out is we're throwing a bunch of strikes. And that's something that since I've got here, we've preached and, and everybody always preaches that, but sometimes it's easier said than done. And they've really bought into it, the aggressive nature of, of trying to compete in the zone and, and not, um, doing too much corner pitching, too much nibbling, but, but let's disrupt timing in the middle of the zone. And, and our guys have been great. They've bought into everything we've asked them to do. And, and I think they're having fun and enjoying it. And you know, as those things and positive days continue to stack up for them, I think we're gonna see a good product when we get back out there in February. Michael, same, nice, fluid, easy tempo. Good, Mike. It's a fast spinner. When well, he does it right, it's really good. Veteran arms like Devin Fontenot, Mikhail Hilliard, and Trent Vintmeyer have years of experience, especially in conference and postseason play to lead the staff. There are also returning underclassmen like right-handers Ty Floyd, Javen Coleman, and Blake Money. He goes, you cut your hair? I was like, yeah. He goes, it looks like you lost weight. And I was like, yeah, I've been trying. Thank you. Appreciate it. Terrible. It's all I'm known for is my hair. Come on. It's gotta be better. I thought I had a good personality. People just be telling me I don't. I need a throwing partner. One day we're out here, it's like 77. Next day it's like 60. I woke up this morning, I was dressed like the abominable snowman. Just going to class. All right, well when you get old, your bones get chilly. Come on. All right, Ty. Let's get that heavy weight going, Ty. Oh, yeah. The staff of pitchers that we have this year as a whole, I mean, are, are just a great group of guys. I mean, we got some fifth-year guys back, like uh, Trent Bittmeyer, Mikhail Hilliard, you know, Devin Fano, you know, guys with a lot of experience, um, and experience in the, in the clubhouse. Um, just being around the younger guys, helping those guys out and showing the ropes. And we had, a, you know, a lot of freshmen last year. We got a lot of freshmen this year. Um, and it was good to get that experience last year, and I think we're kind of feeding off of each other. It's been a really competitive fall, um, and we've been holding each other accountable for how we're doing, and I think it's done helped out the, the staff a lot. Huh? Four for four, not from Wendy's. Although a weekend rotation has yet to be established, Coach Kelly is confident in the quality of the arms the team has. He believes the starting rotation will not only be dangerous for our opponents' bats, but the bullpen will be as well. Yeah, at this point, we don't quite know exactly what we're going to be, um, but we know we've got 10 or 12 really qualified guys. And, and as we finish up the Fall World Series this week and get into January after Christmas break, I think those things will start to weed themselves out. And, and I think we'll get three reliable guys. And then that'll allow us to have, a, I think, a really strong bullpen as, as this thing boils down to January and into early February. Eric Razelman, an arm from out west, has already begun to make an impact. Razelman is a hard-throwing right-hander who's ready to log innings for the Tigers and help them win in any way he can. This fall for me, um, I'm really working on being able to go out and compete. Um, game time something that I haven't gotten too much of uh, in the last few years. Um, my freshman, sophomore year of college and uh, kind of through high school, so I'm really racking up innings, um, trying to get some in-game experience and being able to compete, whether that's a hit given up and being able to get out of the inning, come in a bases loaded situation and do everything I can to get us out of there um, with no damage or the least damage as possible. Um, just be ready to go in whatever role I have. Um, 
and be able to get us back hitting. This is just one exercise. It's time consuming. Because it's six lunges with each leg. Come on, man. That's a lot of lunges, man. 